Greetings everyone and in today's short video I'm going to review some of the things that are important to understand and practice when uh, dealing with trailer tires. In this photo here you can see my polo rig and uh, you can see some of the <laughs> situations I've been in. Here I'm changing a uh, few blowouts on Interstate 95 which is not a safe thing to do and so I had uh, I think two tires here that blew out in succession. Luckily I carry two spares, but it did necessitate a trip as fast as possible to a tire place because we didn't have any spares left. And we happened to find a place. You may not always find one on a Sunday afternoon. And if you're fortunate to find one, you may find that you need to help out the staff there. As you can see me doing here, uh, working with the guys to get uh, all four tires and two spares off and remounted as fast as possible because we had six horses as you can see in the trailer but we got it all done and got out of there really fast there are different places you can go to get tires trailer dealers are going to have the ability to do the job but they may not have the best selection or the best prices uh, commercial tire centers may also have uh, the ability to do the job but they may not be interested except for large fleets so you may end up at an automotive tire center which is difficult because the change has to be done in the lot now when you're thinking about tires one might think what do I need to know what type of tire is it what's the load rating what's the speed rating where is it made and how old is it because it's not just how worn it is it's how old it is that matters so looking at this uh, four star deluxe here that we use for fox hunting, uh, if you take a walk towards the nose, that's where the information traditionally has been put on a plate on most trailers made in the United States since probably the early 80s. And so if you go under the gooseneck here, you'll see uh, as we approach, it's actually not on the outside where all those stickers are. It's under the gooseneck on the reinforcing beams. And that's where there's a manufacturer's plate which gives you specifics of the date of manufacture, where it was manufactured possibly, as well as the exact tire size and rim size. Now, you can also go to the tire itself. And here you can see this is a 235-85-16. There is a, another thing to note here, and that is you can see that it says ST at the front, and that stands for Special Trailer Tire. You can also substitute what are not trailer tires uh, that have the LT, Light Truck uh, predecessor, and that'll work too, although those sidewalls are not as stiff as tires specifically designed for trailers. So just be aware. Also recognize that the speed rating is a critical consideration and trailer tires do not have the same speed rating as truck tires. However, the newest Goodyear Endurance, and I'm not sponsoring them, I'm just saying they have a rating of up to 87 miles an hour, which is unique in the trailer tire industry. You want to make sure you're inflating it correctly. This uh, new Goodyear has it as large as I've ever seen. And that's a good thing for horse people because a lot of horse people don't spend a lot of time looking at their tires and the fine print. Right here in the center of the screen, you'll see that the tire is made in the USA and that is very important because unless you buy this Goodyear Endurance you're probably going to find 99 point something percent of the tires for trailers which feature the ST designation are made in China. Now on this uh, image here you can see me pointing at a number stamp there and that is not 5021 that is 5021 that represents the week and the year of manufacture so when you're buying tires don't get taken for a ride by the salespeople selling you tires that have been sitting in the rack for the past four years you want to get the freshest tire you can buy I just bought these uh, the first week of February and so you can see they're only about six weeks old 
and that is about as new as you're going to get. Returning to the earlier photo of the blowout, I wanted to say that you can get blowouts due to old age or you can get blowouts due to hitting road debris. And you also can have blowouts due to overloading the tires. One of the things you need to pay attention to is the load rating that's necessary for your particular trailer. Uh, my bigger trailers use a load rating of at least an E. Most, but not all, blowouts are due to old age on tires, meaning the tires have exceeded their lifespan. And it varies, but you generally hear that tires are too old after about six years. I wouldn't uh, go any longer than that, and I always carry two spares for any problem. Finally, remember, ultimately the safety of you, your horses, your vehicles, the people around you, your passengers, is dependent upon your diligence in maintaining all your equipment. So pay attention and be safe out there.